Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and rumors surrounding the NBA trade deadline. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like on today's video. It takes a second, helps me out a lot. And some comments and questions below today's video talking about the NBA trade deadline and all the news and rumors that I'm about to jump into. And speaking of trades and the NBA trade deadline, make sure you guys check out my last video. I was breaking down the whole Dennis Schroeder situation. I'm also going to give a quick update on that whole topic later in today's video. And in my last video, I was also talking about how Paul Millsap prefers to sign with the Chicago Bulls if he does get bought out. But nonetheless, let's just jump right into today's video. And according to Mark J. Spears, you know, I'd say he's probably the best NBA insider. He's always covering any rumors surrounding the NBA trade deadline and everything like that. And he was talking on his podcast just the other day, and he said, I was told yesterday by a very trusted scout to keep an eye on the Chicago Bulls, Toronto Raptors, Washington Wizards, and the Indiana Pacers. He feels like they are teams that are itching to get something done. And I'm honestly down for that. You know, I think the Chicago Bulls need a big man on this roster. I truly do believe they need some help. And I feel like it just made sense that the Chicago Bulls are itching to get something done. So speaking of that, you know, I feel like these past few days have been filled with trade rumors and some potential trade targets for the Chicago Bulls. Like I said earlier in today's video, I was breaking down the Dennis Schroeder situation. And just the other day, another potential trade target did come out for the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls have shown interest in trading for the Spurs big man, Yaka Portal. And just a little quick update on the whole Dennis Schroeder situation. You know, I was covering this in my last video and there were some rumors about how the Bulls made an offer for Dennis Schroeder. And per HP Basketball, the Celtics do indeed have a trade offer on the table from the Chicago Bulls. In my opinion, and with all the rumors coming out, I believe it's just a Troy Brown Jr. for Dennis Schroeder swap, maybe a second round draft pick included. There's been a lot of talk about how the Celtics are expected to trade Dennis. And in my opinion, this really doesn't make sense for the Bulls to trade for a guard unless they do decide to trade Kobe White for a big man then. You know, if that is the case, I definitely am interested. It definitely sucks to, if we do have to trade Kobe because he's a very young talent and you've seen at times how easily he can just turn it on and get hot and just be a walking bucket. It would definitely hurt the Bulls if they do have to trade Kobe White, but I do understand this roster definitely needs a big man. And speaking of a big man, like I just said earlier in today's video, the Bulls have shown interest in trading for the Spurs big man, Yaka Portal. And the Bulls reportedly offered a future first round draft pick for him, and the Spurs did decline. So that's pretty interesting. And let me just give my quick little opinion on this. Definitely let me know below today's video what you guys think about this topic and Yaka Portal. And in my opinion, I believe he'd be a great addition to this roster. The only problem that I've been seeing is that the Spurs want a first round draft pick or a solid player in return for him. You know, he is 26 years old. He's a seven foot center or power forward. He does weigh about 230. He's on a pretty cheap contract. He was the ninth pick back in 2019. And on this season for the Spurs, he has been really solid. You know, in about 29 minutes a night, he's been averaging about 13 points per game, shooting about 61% from the field, averaging nine total rebounds per game, three assists, about a steal, and about two blocks per game. He's a really good defender. I was watching some highlights of him and some gameplay, and I've noticed that when he's on the floor for the Spurs, they're a really good team on the offensive and defensive end, and there's a lot of stats to back that up. Now, I do believe he'd be a great addition to this roster. I believe he'd be a great backup center for the Chicago Bulls. But the only problem is, I just think this is very unlikely. I know the Spurs are really high on him and they like him a lot. I do believe he'd fill a lot of needs for the Chicago Bulls. The only problem is, I see the Spurs wanting more than just a first rounder for him. I mean, they did decline that trade already. And the Bulls are already kind of limited on trade assets right now with all the injuries going on or going around. You know, don't get me wrong. He'd be a great addition. He'd really help out this, I'd say, the big man rotation for the Bulls. But he is a starter for the Spurs. And I I'd say on most NBA teams, he'd be a really solid big man. Just I feel like the Spurs value him a lot. And I don't see the Bulls giving up more than a first rounder. So I highly doubt this does get done. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video if you guys want the Bulls to trade for Dennis Schroeder or Yakup portal and the next topic in today's video is about demar derozan and the nba trade deadline you know just the other day a bunch of reporters were asking demar derozan about the trade deadline and demar derozan said he's cool with the chicago bulls standing pat at the trade deadline if that's the choice 
And then he continued and he highly praised, of course, Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso, and Patrick Williams. He said, we have them and they'll be back soon. We don't need to worry or stress about having nobody else, DeMar DeRozan did say. And he continued and also said, those three there, I guarantee every team in the NBA wishes they had those three guys. We're going to get those guys back and we'll be fine. And I agree 100%. Of course, this is what you expected DeMar to say. There's no way he's just going to go out there and say, yeah, we need to trade one of our guys and get a big man or anything like that. I'm cool with the Chicago Bulls standing pat, but in my opinion, I feel like they really do need a big man or a backup center or backup power forward on this roster. Thankfully, it does look like Lonzo, Alex, and Pat are going to be healthy before the NBA playoffs for the Chicago Bulls, and that's going to be huge. Definitely leave some comments and questions below to this video about DeMar DeRozan saying that he's cool with the Bulls standing pat at the trade deadline and what you guys want the Bulls to do. And the final topic in today's video is about a topic that's a few days old. You know, like I said, I was in Indy all weekend for the Bulls versus Pacers game, so I'm sorry about this. And Zach Levine has been dealing with some back spasms. Thankfully, he did play last night versus the Suns, even though that was a pretty ugly game from the Bulls for the most part. But post game on February 3rd, Zach Levine was talking about his back spasms and how he played 42 minutes in that game. He said it hurts. That's what happens when you play a 42 minute game with back spasms. And I'm going to be honest, at first, I didn't really think much of this situation, but looking at all the comments and all the people on Twitter, they really overblown this and thought Zach Levine was throwing some shots at Billy Donovan and such. I don't believe that's a problem or that was what was going on. Definitely let me know below to this video what you guys think by Zach means by that. I don't believe he's taking any shots at Billy Donovan, but there was a bunch of Bulls fans on Twitter saying that Zach wasn't happy with Billy. I mean, I'm just happy that Zach's back playing. You know, thankfully, it's looking like his back is fine. Hopefully, the injuries are done us end for the Chicago Bulls. I swear, this Bulls team is always, I'd say, dealing with the injury bug year after year. I don't know what it is. The Bulls have changed their medical staff, coaching staff many times, added new players. I swear, the injury bug, maybe it's a curse. I don't know. This Bulls team is just always hurt. But nonetheless, thank you guys for all the love on the channel and the past few videos. I really do appreciate it. Also, leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the injury updates. I plan to make a future video, jump in more into some injuries, and just let me know below today's video what you guys want the Bulls to do at the NBA trade deadline. A lot of trade rumors are starting to pop up. I mean, the trade deadline is later this week. I plan to have a video out Thursday covering the trade deadline if the Bulls make any moves or even if they don't. But nonetheless, thank you guys for watching today's video, and thank you guys for all the love on the channel. Thank you guys. Have a good one.